What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a top tier Kyogre and Mamoswine team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Kyogre, this Pokemon is super strong. We all know this Pokemon is legit. It's the real deal when it comes to ranked battles. But we're adding the Choice Scarf as its item today, making this thing super fast and making this thing a real problem. Kyogre's got the Drizzle ability. We already mentioned the Choice Scarf as item. Then I absolutely love its moveset with Water Spout, Thunder for coverage, Origin Pulse, and we also have Ice Beam for coverage. So two big time heavy hitting stab moves and two big time coverage moves. We love Kyogre. To pair up with Kyogre, we also have Archaludon. Archaludon is phenomenal in the rain due to its stamina ability and its move Electro Shot. This one also has Assault Vest with Snarl for special attack drops, Flash Cannon, and Body Press. Another Pokemon that pairs up perfectly with Kyogre is going to be Tornadus, just a great support Pokemon, allowing Kyogre to outspeed with Tailwinds or reset Rain with Rain Dance. You cannot go wrong with Tornadus whenever you're using a Kyogre team. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Moltres, Furgraph, and Mamoswine. Moltres over here rocking the choice specs, another big time special attacker on today's team, and Furgraph over here has Imprison and Trick Room. We can cancel out Trick Room and counter Trick Room teams. Our final Pokemon, like I mentioned earlier on, is Mamoswine, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. This guy has Oblivious with the Covert Cloak as item, rocking EQ, high horsepower, protect, and icicle crash. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Kyogre and Mamoswine team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and we are going up against a Groudon Sun team. They also have Chlorophyll Venusaur, two Double with Speed in the Sun, they got Walking Wake, they got Slitherwing, two Protosynthesis Pokemon. And honestly, I love Sl Slitherwing. Haven't seen that Pokemon in a good bit, so I'm actually excited. Hopefully, they bring it. They also have Gargonackle, and last but not least, they are rocking out with King Gambit. So this is obviously going to be a weather war. We want Kyogre, we want Tornadus, we might just lead both of them. To be honest, that's in our best interest. So I'm going to go into Kyogre, I'm going to go into Tornadus, and we're going to get after it that way. I think that's really good for us. So yeah, both of them are going to come out here for the lead. In the back end, we could go Mamoswine, considering Mamoswine is pretty solid here. I like it up against a lot of these Pokemon. But I also like Archaludon. Arch Luna with that Assault Vest, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, you got Body Press, you got Electro Shot, you got Flash Cannon, which is solid. Um, hmm. I want Mamoswine, though. I'm going to go Mamoswine, and in our final spot, it's one or the other here. I mean, Choice Specs, Moltres, is pretty solid here. It's pretty good. I mean, you got Hurricane with the Rain. That's not bad either. That's not bad either. Who do I want here? I'm gonna go with Choice Specs. I'm gonna go with the Moltres. I mean, Arch Ludon obviously could be nice, but just say we don't win the Weather War, then Moltres is gonna be better than Arch Ludon. Because Arch Ludon without this, this uh, little boost early on here, not gonna be too good. Especially up against Groudon. Just a nice little ground move could just take me out. Precipice Blades. I'm going. I'm going. So I'm gonna go in with Moltres here in the back end. We wanna see Slitherwing and King Gambit fly through here, which I don't mind. I mean, you could sucker punch me. That is definitely a possibility. Drizzle is going to come out here. And you know what? Instead of going into like a Tailwind or something, I am just going to pop a Rain Dance. I'm going to pop a Rain Dance here. They could go for Sucker Punch and a First Impression. But I think they just hard swap in the ground on, which is why I want to go into a Rain Dance. to kind of cover that. Furthermore, I'm just going to drop an Origin Pulse and just start ripping. Yep, there's a Withdrawal. Bang, bang, big time read for us. Big time read for Jeans. Groudon's going to come out here. He's like, yo, look, I got Sun. No, you don't. No, you don't, because I'm changing the weather right back. I'm reading you. I'm in your head already. I'm in your head. I'm in your head. I honestly wish we would have went for Water Spout there, but I was just trying to make a make a nice little cover of uh, first impression damage and Sucker Punch if they were going to go for it. So we'll see a Terra pop out here from Slytherwing. It is going to go into straight water, which uh, I don't really mind that too much. I don't really mind that. I mean, I still have my choice Scarf, so I'm outspeeding a lot here. And there is the first impression, which is exactly why I went in the Origin Pulse. Exactly why I went in the or or Origin Pulse instead of Water Spout. So good plays on our end. Rain Dance already out and about. Protosynthesis gone on Slytherwing. Origin Pulse landed. The Groudon's taking some damage. And that's a lot of damage. See you later, Groudon. Go home, buddy. You're going. Get it on out my face. Hot start for us. Hot start for us. So from here, Slytherwing's chilling here with the Water Terror. So it has Water Terror. I mean, Water Terror is pretty good. 
pretty good. I could stay in here with Kai Ogre. I could hard swap Kai Ogre if I want to. Let's just see who they go into, because they might just go back into King Gambit and try to sucker punch my Kyogre. They're going to go into Venusaur. They're going to go into Venusaur here. So if Venusaur is going to fly out here, I am just going to rip a Bleak and Storm. And honestly, let's just go into... Let's just go into Moltres in the rain. Moltres in the rain, Hurricane ripping. I can always Tailwind next turn if I want to. I like it, so we'll swap Groudon. We're not Groudon, Kyogre. Get our choice scarf back in action if we need it later. We'll go into Moltres. Venusaur just protects. That's totally fine. That's a fine turn for me. That's a totally fine turn for me. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly. Let's see how much damage this does. Another Bleak Wind Storm will KO. We get a speed drop too. We don't. Nope. Another Bleak Wind Storm not gonna KO. I lied. I lied! I like because Slither Wing's getting back some HP. So I'm thinking of choosing in the Fiery Wrath here. And the reason I want to do that is just because I want to get off the double damage. Because I want to take out Slither Wing this turn. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down. They already use their terror. We don't have to worry about them changing typings. I mean, Fiery Wrath, which we expect, should do a decent amount of damage. Pair it up with Bleak Wind Storm. We should definitely pick up the KO onto Slither Wing. Maybe not Venusaur. I'm hoping we should onto Venusaur, considering Bleak Wind Storm is super effective. But yeah, i honestly rather go into Hurricane, but I think in this situation, choice specking into Fire Wrath is definitely the play. So Bleak Wind Storm flies, yeah, perfect play for us. Fire Wrath is going to come in the back end. I want to say bye-bye to both these guys. Actually, you're outspeeding me, Venusaur. A little annoying. A little annoying, but hey, that's fine. Both my Pokemon survive. We pick up the double KO. And now, honestly, I can just Tailwind if I want to, or I can swap into Mamoswine if I want to, and try to sweep. We might win a first battle sweep. That's always good. But we played this one so perfectly. We knew they were swapping into ground on turn one. We popped the rain dance predicting it. And from there, it was just game. From there, it was game. But they're going to go into King Gambo. King Gambo flies through here. And yeah, I want the sweep. I want the sweep. I'm going to go into Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine. Swiney of Mammoths. And we'll go into Fire Wrath. But hopefully, they just can't battle and we get sweep regardless. No, they don't. You're making me work for my, for my sweep? Come on, man. That's like King Game is strong Pokemon. <laughs> Real strong Pokemon. We end up going in Mammoth Swine. Maybe predicting a Sucker Punch here. Yep. All day. Dude, all day. Come on, man. Come on, man. Fire Rat's going to fly here. Deal a little bit of damage. And now, from here, Sucker Punch won't KO my Moltres. We now outspeed. I can EQ freely. And now that's game. That's going to be sweet. You still haven't left. You still haven't canceled. But that's going to be game right there. EQ. Actually, not KOing. Surprise, surprise. Fiery Wrath, back me up here. Let's go. That's my dog. That's my dog. Choice Specs, Galarian Moltres. Getting work done here. What a perfect first match. Moving on to our second match, and we are going up against a Zamazenta team. Now, when it comes to this Zamazenta team right here, they got multiple different options here, right? They can go into Incineroar for Fake Out. They can go into Raging Bolt for Thunderclap onto my Kyogre. They can also go into P2 to pop Trick Room. That could definitely help them out. So a good lead for us is going to be Kyogre Frigograph. Let's be honest here. We stop all first turn priority. They have no weather control, so we could just maybe spam Water Spouts. I like this lead a lot. I really do. We are definitely going to bring an Arch Loot out in the back end. Because like I said, they have no weather control. And last but not least, it's between the Moltres or the Mammoth Swine. Hmm. Moltres or Mammoth Swine. I am going to like a special attacker here. Even, actually, we have two special attackers already. Let's go Mammoth Swine. Kind of deal with that Rage Bolt. But I was going to say, I kind of want a special attacker to deal with Zamazenta. Considering that thing's just a defensive bulk. But we got two special attackers already. Actually, three if you count for a graph, but... I don't really count for a grab. I just count it as a support Pokemon rather than a special attacker. So I'm cool with Kyogre, Archiludon, Mammoth Swine. And but we're 1 0. We dominated in the first match, making a big time read on the Groudon swap. Now we're sitting here looking to get rid of Zamazenta. And this Pokemon actually been amazing in ranked regulation G. It's actually been in the highest usage. And on top of that, it's been winning a lot of tournaments, battles, you name it. It's been crazy strong. But he ends up going in Zamazenta alongside with Urshfu. Now, Urshifu cannot go for Sucker Punch, which is gorgeous. We love it, but I can go straight into a Water Spout, and I know I'm going to outspeed, which is lovely. So I'm just going to go for a Water Spout on top of a Helping Hand. I think that's just a perfect little thing to go into. You can't use first turn priority. It's neutral, so you're going to have to Terrastalize. If you don't have a Terror-type to neutralize this out, Water Spout's going to be doing some damage here. 
it's going to be doing some damage. So helping hand flying here. Free Graph said, hey, yo, here's a nice little 1.3 times multiplier to your damage. And you got wide guard. No. You little booger. Oh, man. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. What are you going for here? I'm going to take out my Ferrigis. No, man. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. The soul is destroyed right now. The soul is just... Oh, man. That hits hard. I'm choosing for this, though. I am choosing this. I'm going to go into Arch Luda. Oh, man. I'm going to go for another water spell. I'm choosing for this. I could tear grass. The fighting move not looking so hot for me. Yeah, I'm gonna tear grass. Oh my lord, that hurts the soul. I'm going for another water spot. Hopefully they're like, hey, they're not gonna go for this again, but they'll probably just wide guard again. The big time play from our opponent. Always forget. I forget about wide guard Pokemon a lot. It's tough news, especially Zamazenta. It's just so it just has so much like usage now. Wide guards, body press, iron defense. It's just phenomenal in this format. This format works perfectly for it. But I'm gonna end up tearing grass into our Archer Ludon. Just so I don't die to like a close combat. And he is gonna stick with the wide guard, no big deal. I might have to swap Kyogre next turn. I keep spamming it. The thing is, if I can waste your turns with my turns, I, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Let's see what, are you going for close combat here? I would think so. Yep, that's exactly why I terrestrialize. We're gonna get a defense boost, which is good, make a body press do more damage. And if you're not focused, Ash, you should die out. If you are not focused, Ash. And is that focus, Ash? No, you, you just survived, so I guess I'll never know. But guess what? I'm going for another. I'm going for another wide guard. Or well, not wide guard, another water spout. And I'm just gonna body press into this Earth for slot. That's gonna be my play. That's gonna be my play. You might just go for a Wicked Blow here. If you do go for a wide guard, you little booger. Wicked Blow might KO me. This is tough news. Let's see what he goes for. Water Spout getting blocked. I'll spam it. I'll spam it. I might, I might, I might have to end up swapping Kai over here. This is so funny. They're actually just standing on their ground, which is pretty good. He goes for a Wicked Blow. Can we soak this? We do soak it. Beautiful. So we're actually not soaking up a shot here. Um. Oh man, wide guard. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. I'm down to just keep sending uh, water spouts. I'm really down. I'm really down. Because the moment he doesn't wide guard is the moment water spout just prevails. Because I could swap. I could definitely swap if I want to. Moongus can come out here now. And now Moongus can put me to sleep. Where things get a little bit more trickier. Guess what? I'm going for another wide guard. Or a water spout. I have five more left, might as well send it. I'm gonna go for a body press into Zamazenta. <laughs> as much as I wanna swap, it's just like, it's kinda of funny that we're sitting in this position, but he's gonna put my Kyogre to sleep. We already know that. He's gonna put Kyogre to sleep here. Body press, how much damage are you possibly doing? Dude, this thing is ridiculously strong. Now he's gonna start attacking. Now he's gonna start attacking. <laughs> We're gonna go for a water spout. Um, we gotta keep spamming body press, I guess. I mean, we're pretty much dead here. You could just heal up your Zamazetta at this point. This is a funny match. We definitely should have swapped Kyogre, but it was like, it was like, dude, we we uh, the wide guard is just annoying. Body press gonna fly here. It's kind of funny because I was I was hoping because a lot of times people use wide guard and then they'll read me like swapping or even just like going into like a different move. But this guy just stood his ground, which is props to him. Props to him. I mean, I'm kind of just waiting for my Kyogre to wake up. I'll swap into Mammoth Swine this turn. Actually, I can waste another turn. here. Actually, no, I have to swap because if I die, I can't reset my choice. So I'm going to swap you into Mammoth Swine. And Archelion, if you can get off a body press, I mean, 
Honestly, I'd rather just flash cannon this Amoogus. See how much damage this does. So we're swapping Kyogre finally. We're resetting our choice. This is Amazon. This is getting the best of us this game. It's just a funny match, though. I can't believe it wide guarded that many turns in a row. And, of course, I swapped to a super effective Pokemon. <laughs> I just get absolutely dumped on in. Are you palm puffing the KO my... The KO my... What's it called? My Archeludon? Yeah, you are. So yeah, this one's just a rough one for us. At least we don't get swept. We were able to pick up a KO onto one of their Pokemon. Which is good. I mean, I get to bring out my boy here. And I could choice to an Ice Beam, but is that, is that really going to be that good? But I'm asleep. I'm asleep. It's like... I just can't believe they wide guard that many turns. I was waiting for the one turn that they weren't going to wide guard, and it just never came. It just never came. So, yeah, I mean, I should probably just run this, but... I'm going to go for an Origin Pulse. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Maybe we wake up. Maybe we, we wake up, but I think they might just attack. I'm going to go for it. I want to see a Terra type pop out here. Zamazenta, what do you got? What Terra type you got? I swear, if it's water this whole time, it's it's been grass this whole time, and you've been wide guarding this whole time. This makes no sense. I should choice an ice beam. This makes zero sense. I'm still asleep anyway. He's probably just going for like spore here. Body crest comes out here, and that's one shot me. Oh my lord, this Pokemon is absurd. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Try to forget about this one. Moving on to our final match for today's video. We're going up against a really weird Rhyperior and Carping team. Alongside with Hariyama. This kind of screams out Trick Room, but I'm not sure who can set Trick Room. Maybe Carping? I'm going to play off of that, right? I'm going to go into Kyogre. Furthermore, I'm going to go into Varigoraph. I think imprisoning Trick Room could be really good for us. Plus, stopping first turn priority going to be solid for us. So that's going to be my lead. Same thing as last time. We are 1-1, one one, but that's on the center, man. Once I hit wide guard, I was like, bro, are you kidding me? Kind of ruined everything that I wanted to do. But in the back end, they don't have any weather control, so I like Arch Loot on here. And last but not least, we are going to go in with Manny the Mamoswine. We love this Pokemon. But again, 1-1, one one, we'd love to grab ourselves a winning record. Let's see who they end up playing. Because I feel like Card Bank has to be a Trick Room Center, right? I feel like it has to be. This is kind of an odd team. I got to watch out for Lightning Rod potentially on Rhyperior. I want to drop Thunders into their Kyogre. But they're going to end up leading Carbink alongside with Shen Pao. So this seems like a pretty free, just like, water spell, right? I should outspeed Shen Pao. Unless you're going for Sucker Punch. Unless you're going for Sucker Punch. And I might choice into Origin Pulse. Just make things a little bit easier for me. And honestly, we're going to go Origin Pulse. And I'm still just going to imprison Trick Room. I think I just want to play it safe here. I don't want him setting up Trick Room. Not at all. So Origin Pulse going to fire. And of course, who's dodging it? Both of them? Are both you guys dodging this? This is why I don't use Origin Pulse. This is exactly why I don't use Origin Pulse. Exactly why I don't use Origin Pulse. Now they get off Trick Room. For free. For free! This thing definitely has Sturdy too, so it's probably Focus Ash and Sturdy. Yeah! Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Don't like this game one bit, but I got some Solar Pokemon that can thrive out here. Oh my lord, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Couldn't have landed Origin Pulse on one of them. Couldn't have landed Origin Pulse on one of them. But I'm choosing into it now. Um, I'm going to send it. On top of that, I am just going to start trying to like, get a defense boost here. Could go for Body Press. Could go for Flash Cannon. Um, could go for Flash Cannon in this slot. That does hurt the soul, man. Endeavor going to come out here. The Flash Cannon's going to fly here. It is going to take you out. Should double down to Carbink. So you weren't even Sash. So Origin Pulse would have just KO'd you. And then I could have just imprisoned Trick Room. We would have been fine here. And you're sturdy. You got Endeavor. You're ready to go. This is terrible. Why do I have to miss Origin Pulses like that? This game should have been Raps. This game should have been Raps. Now we're going into that. Okay. Um. He's going to Endeavor me. I'm going to go into you. And I feel like I, ha I have to get rid of... You know, we're just going to leave Kyogre on the field at this point. We're just going to leave Kyogre on the field. I guess we'll go for an Origin Pulse. I'm going to go for Snarl. I need I need to get rid of this, this little car bank. I, like, if not, it's just going to sit there and endeavor me the whole game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I hate this game, man. <laughs> Yo. 
If I just land it, Lurgeon pulls on the Shen Pao, we KO it. Now I get endeavored. Can you at least drop the Snarl and KO? You should be slower. You're not. This Kyogre is slow as can be. At least my Kyogre is able to soak it up. Watch, he's going to miss the Carbink with an Origin Pulse. And it's just going to get real ugly. No. Please don't. What you mean? Yo. Yo, we should win this game no problem. This game should have been one of the easiest matches we could have had. And we're, and we're just going to lose. I will never. I don't think I'll ever touch Origin Pulse again. Yo, what's your accuracy? 85? 85. Can somebody do the math for me? Origin Pulse missing four times. Four times. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to do. Because now I just get endeavored. It's a game. I, I lose when I should have won. I guess I'll go for an EQ. I mean, we probably should thrasalize, but yeah, Endeavor brings us to one regardless. This is absurd. Our opponent does not know how lucky they are. This should have been an easy 2 1 winning record, but we're going to end up losing this one and go 1 and 2. So, guys, we ended up today's video going 1 and 2. The first match, we absolutely dominated. We swept. The second match, I'll be honest, our opponent just outplayed us. Samazetta was insane. That was a good match on our opponent's end. But the third and final match, come on, man. That should have been an easy dub for us. We missed Origin Pulls all four times on all four opponents. Come on, man. It's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand at this point. Again, if we just land that Origin Pulse turn 1, even into just Shen Pao. It doesn't have focus attack, we're going to KO it all day, and then we can imprison the trick room, which I wanted to do the whole time, and it just didn't work out. It just didn't work because I'm missing shots. It happens. I'll take that one on chin. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.